the question is about ahara shuddhi ahara you know food shuddhi is purity literally it means purity of food what role the purity of the food has got in the life of a spiritual seeker what role or what effect an impure food can bring or subject the spiritual seeker as one proceeds further in the spiritual progress one has to be very very careful about the food intake generally in sanskrit food is called aahara ahar translated the food can get confined to only that we eat with of course drink water consumed through mouth but ahar is not restricted to that ahriyate that which is taken in consumed at all the levels of gnana indriyas or in other words all that you perceive is your ahar what you eat what you see what you hear what you smell what you touch all these are your intake so purity of food ahara shuddhi is not confined only to what you eat though what you eat has a special effect on your mind today will confine ahara shuddhi only from the standpoint of what we eat next time we'll see in detail ahara shuddhi at other levels from eating standpoint of course the food has to be sattvic because sattvic food gives sattvic disposition of the antakara rajasik food gives rajasik disposition of antakara tamasik food gives stupor sleep inertia laziness person is good for nothing from that standpoint food has to be sattvic of course at times emergency etc for survival these norms are relaxed 
one is on the verge of starving. And whatever food available is not up to the mark of Shastra. Yet Shastra permits it because saving the life is more important. Many such instruments are in the, available in the history, Purana, etc. Now, it is not only the sattvic disposition. There are other factors that go in in determining the purity of the food in terms of the means by which the provisions were procured. The sauskaras of the person who cooks the food. All these have got bearing in terms of sauskaras on the food eater. And if bad sauskaras are there, the spiritual sadhaka has to pay for it in terms of obstructions. I think in some other context I told you, a great Mahatma was there, used in the forest. People knew that he's a great man. At times they used to invite him for big shot to their house. One gentleman one day invited this Mahatma for Bhiksha to his house and he obliged. Food was served, he ate, as usual, he returned. While serving the food, the water, drinking water was given in a silver tumbler. This Mahatma, while going, he drank the water, put the silver tumbler in his bag and went to Halfway, he realized, what is this nonsense I have done? I have stolen his silver tumbler. I didn't ask his permission. Why have I brought this? What made me to take that? I have no use of, of this silver tablet. He realized a mistake. It's a case of theft. So he wanted to ratify. He returned and apologized the host. This is what I have done. Please take it back. I should not have done it. The host is not ready to accept it. How can this Mahatma can take it? He knows him. And Mahatma was of that standard. He said something has gone wrong somewhere. He started inquiring. Then he found that day when his mom was invited, invited from Bhiksha, suddenly his wife got monthly pollution because of monthly pollution she can't cook the food for Mahatma so she somehow got caught, caught hold of a neighboring lady and requested her to cook the food. Of course, she did it. After investigation, it was found that that lady was a number one thief. They've been stealing like this. Her mentality itself was to steal. Those samskaras 
who are transmitted through the food and affected is mom especially the seekers at a higher level of progress have to be very 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 careful about this food hotels etc beautifully decorated what are the habits of the cook bhagwan ji do sanskaras come there so this has got a effect on the antakarna of the sikh they should be avoided one more incidence was there in the himalayas in the ashram when disciples started complaining to the guru guru since few days when i sit for meditation i find a girl coming and screaming and begging please rescue me please rescue me please rescue me i'm not able to get it up so the guru was surprised what has happened he started inquiring and he could make out he found out since when it has started he found that that particular day the food to the inmates of the ashram was provided by a rich merchant why he provided the food because he is wife second wife had committed suicide with second wife he had married a very young girl is a elderly person he bribed the money to the parents of the girl again the will of the girl he got married we don't know first my wife was alive or not we don't know and that girl committed suicide and that day was celebrated by giving charity food sanskaras a helpless girl rescue me rescue me. what all of this is like this it was having effect on his mind so such things are there so that's why i see olden days mahatmas used to get the provision in the bhiksha and they used to cook themselves nowadays time has changed is it dry or wet dry means not cooked wet means cooked food cooked food has got this possibility of affecting this that's why this priority also has to be taken care but ahar should is not confined to this is necessary it has got much more for you chandogya upadeshan he is very very particular about this ahar shuddhi more of which we'll see next time
समस्तोकाभवंतु ओ शांति शांति शांति